Good morning. It's a Sunday morning and I've slept very well and um, I have already packed half of my gear. I need to put the tent down but that's uh, the last thing I'm doing. And uh, it's quite a nice camping site. Quite crowdy because it's bank holiday so a lot of English people have a holiday for a couple of days. I have a uh, boiling water for my eggs. One egg, one egg is enough. And then uh, I can start having some breakfast. I do have uh, small pancakes and a biscuit and a coffee. Egg is coming up. So far so good. about the border, border of Scotland, as you can see on the big sign over here. Now I'm heading towards uh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh, you need to say. There is a campsite uh, uh, north of uh, Edinburgh, but uh, that was I had planned originally. But another thing is that lots of people said to me, if you're going to Edinburgh, then you need to visit uh, the city because it's beautiful. So I changed my plans a little bit. I'm heading now towards uh, the center of uh, Edinburgh, in where there is, there is an, uh, an hotel there, which is not that pricey. I'm going to stay there for two nights. Um, I will arrive there in, uh, I think, less than two hours. And I expect that well, they will have a room. Then I uh, stay there for two nights. So then I have the ability tomorrow to look around in Edinburgh. The idea is to leaving there uh, Tuesday morning and in Edinburgh there is also a large uh, motorcycle dealer very close to the hotel and I have decided to again change my back tire because well it's not completely uh, finished yet the wearing knocks are here quite close Tuesday morning I hope that motorcycle dealer does can help me I didn't have an appointment I'm just going passing by and then see what happens and if they don't have a possibility to help me out directly then there is also another motorcycle dealer 30 kilometers uh, up north then I try that one and uh, that makes uh, vacations exciting the view is not very uh, interesting not at all actually this is some sort of the highway towards uh, Edinburgh it's pity of the weather it's still uh, gray and completely clouded but I take it for granted it is what it is. I already expected that I have uh, take this kind of weather into account. And indeed it is uh, the case. sudden I was passing a sign at the side of the road pointing towards the Tentalon Castle which is this 
thing over here. Needs uh, some work. This is mostly the case with ruins, but still, it's quite impressive. Beautiful. Fortunately, I'm not allowed to send the drone up. I discussed it with the lady at the reception. Uh, it looks like a Spitfire. I don't think it's a Spitfire, but still it's fun. does have only one room for one night and I need to have two nights. No sir, that's not possible. Fully booked for the rest. Okay. And this was the second hotel I checked. The first hotel I had found on uh, the internet. Exit there, okay. Which I found on the internet. Was also fully booked. And I checked this morning on their website if they do have rooms. And yes, they do have rooms. Okay. So then I tried on my ease sitting down on the parking lot and asked something else. And indeed, I found one. So now I'm a little bit curious how it looks like. The price for two nights is 244 pounds. Which is one hundred around around one hundred and thirty euros per night. I have booked now the third hotel on the, directly on the website. I found it on Google Maps, and uh, first I tried to call it, but I could not find the phone number that quickly. Should be here, I think. Yeah, Britannia hotels. Well, that doesn't look uh, very promising. Car park, reception, parking. Reception, car park. It had only three stars on Google Maps. So, I didn't expect very much, but yeah, okay. This is, this is the car park. I think so. Brentalli hotels over there. Parking notice. 
residents of residents parking only. I don't know. Britannia hotels. Hmm. At least it's quite quiet. If there's a bed and there is a, a shower, that's fine by me. I really don't know what to expect. 244 pounds for two nights, it's quite a lot of money. And then you expect something, right? Yeah, finished. Okay. Let's go inside. Welcome in my room. Beautiful, isn't it? On the internet, the reviews of this hotel were terrible. Lots of complaining and uh, everybody thinks uh, it's worse. But, to be honest, I don't have a problem with it. Bathroom looks clean. Yeah, if I go put a microscope on it, probably it's a little bit uh, something else, but uh, to, for me it's clean. Net uh, feels nice. Plenty of room. You cannot see the bike on the parking lot over there, it's just around the corner, but uh, also fine. And the blue stuff above there is something called blue sky and there is also another strange thing that is now hidden behind the, the clouds a little bit and that's called the sun. It was quite uh, warm outside already. so. That was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I have uh, put all my uh, gear from the bike, which is quite a lot, and I put it over here because I need uh, various uh, things, and uh, so for that I need to have my luggage. So I packed it out, and then I have the ability to clean it up a little bit, and uh, so far so good. Yeah, I know, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Mostly camping gear. And uh, in an hour from now I'm going to check out if I can find a restaurant uh, somewhere. There are plenty of them, but it is uh, about uh, 15 minute, minutes walking, which I don't have a problem with. So, that's it. No camping for the time being. Two nights in a hotel.
Hi there. I'm walking in Edinburgh towards the old town. I want to visit the castle. Now fortunately the sun is shining. Because I'm on holiday and when I'm on holiday I always have nice weather. Which is the case right now also. I do have a very good rain jacket and an umbrella. Yeah. When I'm preparing for a holiday, I'm preparing quite well. Edinburgh, here I am. standing uh, aside the road. City tour. Oh, the weather is terrible, so I thought, well, <laughs> might be a good idea. to buy a ticket online up front and uh, today is it sold out so I can't visit the castle that's kind of a pity
Now could be this is one of uh, the most beautiful parts of Edinburgh, St. Cuthbert's Kirkyard. Old tombs and graves hundreds of years old, poorly maintained or not maintained at all for decades, make them falling apart and overgrown by moss. This all makes them fantastic to look at and to make pictures of it. <laughs> 